TJ Allison, it's quiet right now, but there's still a lot of activity at the scene here. Officers from the Douglas County Sheriff's Office, Alexandria Police and St. Paul Police are all on the scene where two Minnesota BCA agents opened fire today and killed one person. TJ, this snow is as good as gold for a variety of local businesses. And with the warm winter we've had so far, it's a welcome sight. Spring is in the air. <coughs> we'll tell you how much longer to expect the lagoon stink in West Fargo. Passengers say when they fly out of other airports, they have to arrive hours early to get through security lines in time. But here at Hector, officials say just 15 minutes is too long of a wait. What we do know is that around 7 p.m., a man walked into the Southeast Human Service Center building, flashed a handgun, and told employees to get out of the building. The building was evacuated. Officers showed up, and the man has been barricaded in a room in that building ever since. And the Moorhead City Council is currently in a closed executive session right now discussing a separation agreement between the city and city manager Michael Redlinger. Do we ever think the tickets would go like this now? No, it was, it was very sweet. While Brooks admits that he was surprised by the amount of support here in Fargo, he says country fans are loyal, and he expects this weekend shows to be something special. The school has gotten by over the last few years by putting classrooms in closets behind stages and taking some high school classrooms and using them for the younger kids. But the superintendent says in a few years, that won't be an option anymore. Drecker Brewing did a study before they opened, which showed that the Metro could support at least 10 breweries. They expect that number is higher now, and the beer boom is spreading beyond Fargo-Moorhead. Rhombus Guys Brewing opened last year in Grand Forks, and there's Union Pizza and Brewing in Fergus Falls. And TJ and Allison, got a couple more of these saved for you after the show. Cheers. Adam Ladwig, KVRR News. Right now, he is leading Wayne Sanchez by about 6,000 votes in this primary election. I am joined by Doug Burgum supporter Anders Johnson. Anders, thank you so much for joining us. What is it like here tonight for you? Even though Donald Trump's speech focused largely on energy, he also touched on other hot button issues. At one point, an audience member yelled out, build a wall, in reference to his immigration policy. Trump's response to that drew arguably the largest cheer of the day. In Bismarck, Adam Ladwig, KVRR News. Tragedy can often bring the best out of a community. That's evident tonight with Fargo Moorhead pulling together for one of its own. Take a look. People gathered outside of the Sanford Hospital in downtown Fargo. Strangers uniting, officers, civilians, lighting candles for a single cause. To let friends, family, and colleagues of Officer Jason Mosier know his service and sacrifice will be remembered. I'm ex-military and I, and I feel a brotherhood of of uh, being with law enforcement and military kind of kind of all go together. They protect us every day from things we don't know about. And I felt my duty to come on and support the police officers that protect us. We're all family of law enforcement and um, it touches our hearts as well. He lived life to the fullest. He came in with a happy face and made the best of everything. And that could be my husband someday. And I pray to God we never have to do this again in this area. I have kids at home knowing that it could be me. Um, but it's worth supporting our community and protecting those who need to be protected. And I just felt it was my duty to come and, and uh, give honor to him. This family is going to need a whole lot of support in the coming days, and we're just glad to see that they, they're going to have it. We're a tight-knit community, and uh, we're all out there to support one another, and, and uh, that's the way it should be. We appreciate what you're doing out there, and uh, we're going to stand behind you any way we can. Thank you for the ultimate sacrifice, because without you, our city wouldn't be as safe as it is. This vigil shows how incredible the fargo Moore community can be. It truly was a sight to see. Fellow officers and a chaplain spoke to the crowd. Officer Mosier's colleagues do ask the public to respect the privacy of his family and give them space to mourn during this difficult time. Reporting live, Adam Ladwig, KVRR News. TJ Allison, these people out here today have completed a challenging journey through addiction. And now they're showing the community that recovery rocks. <laughs> with rocking chairs and plenty of help from passing drivers. Okay. Today's been fabulous. I've been here since 7 o'clock this morning and we're, we've been rocking. And Members of Regroup are spreading the word. 
Addiction isn't a life sentence. Hope is really what we're all about. We want people to know they can seek recovery, get into recovery, and it can last for a lifetime. What better way to spread hope than with a rocking chair party on a street corner? This is the second year for their rocking chair event. They feed our energy. We love their energy. They're peer advocates for addiction recovery. Each of these people's lives were once controlled by substances. I'm an alcoholic, chronic alcoholic, and I've tried for years to get sober. But now they're in recovery, thanks in part to Regroup's programs. We can meet with people one-on-one. -on -one. How's your recovery going today? They want to use their success to reach people still suffering. And they can see that there are people who really want to give back. And get more people out here celebrating next year. What joy this is to see people grow in their recovery, grow in their, in their, um, their strength as people. Members of Regroup are still out here collecting donations and support. They'll be at the corner of 6th Street and Main Avenue in Moorhead until 7 p.m. Reporting in Moorhead, Adam Ladwig, KVRR Local News.